Hello, good evening. My name is Obinako. Welcome. I want to share with you how to start a business uh, in Ghana. How to start a business in Ghana. Most people would want to start uh, businesses in Ghana. Either they work and they want to start a side business or they don't have anything to do and they want to start a business or they've been, you know, uh, made redundant, you know, and they want to start something. There is a need now for them to do something for themselves. I want to talk about some few steps that you can you can use uh, to start and to build that business. You know, because uh, a lot of the time, some people will start business out of ambition, out of uh, self, uh, they want to prove something. And some of us would also want to start because <laughs> we must have a living. <laughs> we, must, <laughs> we have to pay the rent, the school fees. We have to, you know, just start something to, uh, get income. Whatever the drive is, um, you you would have to think of some few things, and and if you think through these things well, you'll be able to at least say through. They say that a lot of businesses fail, and uh, in some countries they say that in in every five years, ninety percent of the business <laughs> will fail, and then that ten percent in the next five years, ninety percent of that ten percent will fail. And so um, maybe in our country it could be even be double. You know, which means the chances of you starting the business and succeeding is well, very much better. The core reason, maybe, is because you need some kind of uh, uh, skills to be able to pick an idea and to build it into a business. You need a certain frame of thinking to be able to pick a business, uh, an idea, and to, and to build it into a business. You know, and a lot of the times those who are able to build a business and succeed right away is because they have trained a lot, they have done a lot of things that were not successful and now they have better understanding of what it really takes for any business to to work out. Some other factors will come in but largely the ones that depend on those or the person starting the business. A lot of, the, a lot of them who succeed uh, have had some of those COVID. The business idea, what kind of business do you want to start? Uh, is it uh, farming? Is it agriculture? Is it in construction? Is it in retail? Or uh, you want to maybe start a processing something or plant or manufacturing? What is, what is it? Or you want to make anything that you have to make sure that that idea is not just an idea that you love. It's an idea that people really need and are ready to pay for it. You know, so it, it can be that you only your family who buy it and are happy with it. When it goes beyond your friends and your family, when people start to order that you don't know, there should be a need for it. You, you have to find a way to test the idea and you have to find a way. People can just give you all kind of praises, but are they ready to pay for it? You know, and the moment whatever you're doing start to solve problems for people, they will be ready to pay for it. You know, so the idea is very key. And then where you station your business. What kind of business that I mean? What kind of business are you doing? Let's say you want to start a farm. It's likely that you can start a farm at La Paz or Achimota. You may not have <laughs> the land to start that. So let's say you want to start a farm. It's likely that you are going to go to some area that would have the 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 area you know uh, the parcel of land that will help you. So see, so you have to do some bit and pieces of uh, background checks to know that whatever business that you are starting. Uh, or work out you know uh, the other thing is uh, you have to understand that uh, the market that you're going to serve really needs it a lot of the times the businesses that work out and work out well uh, have a large area uh, you know in terms of coverage a lot of people need it and sometimes the entry point is a bit regulated you know if it's so easy for anybody to start then a lot of the times it's a bit tough to succeed in it because anybody at all can wake up from sleep and enter into their business you know but if a certain level of value is added it cuts a lot of people from it and so you study the market who need that product is there that need i mean is there a need for that product and for how long and how quickly can you grow that business don't um, a lot of the time you don't have to worry so much about you trying to register the business and let, let's start to offer the services first let's start to introduce the product to the market first let's start to get people to buy 
and then you would want to think of the business name you would want to think of uh, registering the business you would want to think of maybe opening an account you would want to think of maybe having a website a facebook page but you don't need you don't need um you don't need certificate to open a facebook page you know and most people are on their facebook anyway a lot of people are on their on their phone so the, that business that you're doing you know at least get some graphic design <laughs> open a facebook page and, and and let people know what you're doing don't hide you know don't hide because you never know who was that service so what kind of whatever idea that you want to start in ghana uh, the other things that can help you is you look at the say you look at the customer service how you deliver your service uh, is so key it has to be professional and you have to make sure that you 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 respect uh, your customers and you have to understand that you're not doing them a favor as a matter of fact if they don't come to buy you don't have a business so you have to understand that across board you know you have to know that if anybody is calling you uh, for a product or for service you you have to really pay attention to that and you have to come out as somebody who is credible credible you cannot come out as somebody who is shady customers need some level of trust based on the thing that you say you are giving in a in an exchange of the money that they are giving you you know nobody wants to be cheated nobody wants to be tricked so a lot uh, of your credibility is online make sure that whatever you say you you can do you are able to do and do it well you're able to do and do it well because if you're able to do and do it well then the people will start to talk to people about what that you are doing now that a lot of people will, now people would have to figure out what they can do to survive for. you know so uh, any service that uh, society even though companies are going to go to struggle a lot uh, even though some people will be let go society will still need food water where to sleep where to wear what to wear what to drink you know we will still buy data we will still use our phone anyway <laughs> so there are a lot of things that uh we, can, we all can also offer in terms of businesses so it may be if, if maybe you're in business and now that business is slow think of what other things that you can we still have um uh cattle we still have you know goat we still have sheep that uh, to feed what is it that you can do in that life people will still want to package a business maybe you're a graphic designer maybe uh, you can help people to manage their web page maybe whatever business that you can do uh, yeah, well, people can still start uh processing cocoa for for tea or for powder something uh, anything that the society was that you are passionate about or that you can offer not passionate about but that which you can offer and ready to work um, uh, you know and ready to work those things you would have to look at so uh, my name is Abed I'm talking about how you can start a business and start a business in, in Ghana and you have to know that uh, it's, it's easier to succeed when you you are a bit more straightforward than when you are that fast as some people call it smart you don't have to trick anybody for your business to succeed you don't have to be cruel and selfish for your business to succeed do whatever you do a, a, a. a lot of the times everybody and what the gift god gave them how you present yourself is different from how i present myself we just have to make sure that it's a bit professional but it's still different. So the way you talk, your voice, the way you analyze issues, those all are assets that can help you to succeed with your business, you know. And um, don't just do anything and think that um, a lot of boys will spend a lot of their time to develop product uh, that nobody wants. But they are so much into it. They are so much happy. They are so much passionate about it. But they have done it for three years and clearly everything shows that <laughs> there's no need for this product but they think they are happy with it you can do that for hobby but for business you must solve real problems that are needed and that i mean and we should look at our country and look at the rare problems that have the rare business problems that have to be solved you know and and possibly look at the areas that you can cover than just doing anything for fun and say that this is what I like to do. And nobody, because after the ones you tell yourself that you want to build a business, once you tell yourself that you want to do this, 
after a while nobody will start to give you money anyway you have to you now you have to take care of yourself now the business will probably have to take care of you you know so you would want to do something that will bring in money not just something that you're doing and you've been doing you've been doing, you are burning a lot of hours a lot of energy a lot of fuel and you're still not getting anything from it you can see you can be clear with it uh, maybe it's a hobby maybe it's not a business you know so you can you can maybe reposition all the skills the hard work the the analysis that we do you can you can move those things into something that there's really a need and that people are calling because when you start something and there's a need you will see it people will start to give you calls people will start to give you calls people will start to uh, people will start to tell other people that if you want this thing call these people they are they are good at it and they will serve you and serve you well and 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 that's why you start to build a, a good business so that, that's something that i would want to show you and don't be fascinated so much about uh, the problems and the challenges uh, don't be so desperate they will come and you just have to understand that they will come and uh, uh, you will be tested uh, they use gold and uh, they try gold and, and they use fire to try gold and the gold comes out pure uh, nature has a way of testing all of us our convictions our commitment you know so you'll be tested just make sure that what you're doing is, is something that has potential but the test will come you will lose money uh, you your money will get finished uh, people will leave you, you know, people will ridicule you, people will criticize you, people, some people will even fight you. Uh, sometimes, or sometimes you will want to give up. It's all part of the game. But you just have to keep going and then feed yourself and make sure that the part you're on is... Uh, listen, if I'm going from Accra to Kumasi, for instance, if, was, if I'm on the Kumasi road and I'm meeting challenges, at least I'm still on the Kumasi road, I'm going. But if I'm not on the Kumasi road, and I'm meeting challenges, those challenges are unnecessary. I'm on another road that is leading me not to my destination. So that in that case, all the fight, all the problems, all the things that the difficulties that I meet, yeah, really I'm putting myself there. But if it's on the if it's on the course, if it's on the goal that I've set, if it's on the path to where I want to go, then those things are required, are necessary to build us and to make us more.